here we have the 2021 Cadillac CT4 in the sport trim level. This would be the infrared color. This color does not disappoint. Definitely eye-catching. your seat settings for driver one and two power windows down here and power mirrors the trunk release we'll show you the trunk quickly lots of space in the trunk back here much more than anticipated on all four doors as well so you can lock and unlock <laughs> getting in to the vehicle wow this is definitely sporty looking so from our paddle, sh paddle shifters on the steering wheel here we've got our heads-up display in the front which is probably a little bit difficult for you guys to see I've got our Heated steering wheel, our forward collision gap adjustment there, so we can set how far or close we'd like that to go off for us. Answering the phone here on the steering wheel or simply pushing and holding to connect to your Google Assistant or to Surrey. Hanging up the phone right here, over to this side, these buttons here and the roller will adjust right back here in our driver's instrument cluster. So we can change it to the audio, to navigation, your phone, I don't have a phone connected yet, or different maintenance options there. Personally, I like having the driver assistance there so we can see the lane keep assist. Moving over to the infotainment center. So now in 2021, we have upgraded to the wireless Android and Apple CarPlay. And then we've got the NFC connection right here. So I'm actually gonna pair up my phone, which is right here charging up on the wireless charging port. So just simply opening up your phone, holding it up there, Ooh, magic. Confirming it's the same number. I've instantly paired my phone. I will hit continue here so I can use the Android Auto and allow it on my phone. So it'll just give us a minute there. Takes a minute since it's the first time syncing up. All right, perfect. On your way home, traffic is light as usual. So it does have um, the traffic updates in here which you can turn off if you didn't want to have it's showing my home is 18 minutes away or 12 kilometers and giving me a couple different options to get home like you regularly can on all your Google Maps down at the bottom here is going to get us to our main menu for the Android Auto so I do have my Spotify podcasts I listen to my calendar um, the XM radio is another app I have on my phone, so it's going to come up here as well. Any reminders, but I will just pop into Spotify here to show you how easy it is to navigate through your music. Recently played. I can browse here so I can see all the different options. pretty sweet but enough about that everybody knows about Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay we do have our climate up here on the screen so we can control the climate from straight on the screen here or right down at the bottom we do have the dual zone climate control here heated seats for both driver and passenger 
and your cooled seats, which is a nice option to have in the summertime, especially if you're in hot climates like us here in Manitoba. Your parking assist, so you can turn off the vibrations on the seat if you're in a drive-through and you're not wanting them to go on. Of course, our four ways and our lane keep assist. The lane keep assist, if you're departing your lane without having a signal on, it's actually gonna nudge us back into the lane and make sure that's what we're really wanting to do. Right down here, don't mind my mask, <laughs> we have our different mode selectors. You can turn off the auto stop and start and your traction control there. So if I just flip through my mode selectors, it is gonna show me touring, my mode, snow and ice, or sport. I like to keep it in sport because I have a little bit of a heavy foot. A little bit more of the interior here. We do have a sunroof, which we can open up there for us. We have our garage door controls, and of course our OnStar up here. OnStar is super important, because they will be saving you if you are in a crash and left unresponsive. Into the back seat. Pretty nice looking back seat back there. Lots of room child latches if you do have any car seats to be going into the rear you've got your Bose sound system and we do have the leg rest there so being the sport we can pull it out a little bit further those are manual however um, everything else on the seats there we go it's on the driver too a little bit more comfortable everything else on the seats is going to be power here for us I will show you getting out. We do have um, the massaging seats here on the side for us. Your power adjustable seats here, front and back. And then it does have the massaging seat option. Into the back of the vehicle. Lots of room back here being the CT4, the smallest sedan. But again, being 5'4", I'm comfortably sitting back here. I have no problem with it. And then we do have the option to pull down for the cup holders. So on a road trip, everyone will be nice and comfortable back here. I'll look into the front of the vehicle. All right. Let's take it for a spin and see what the CT4 is really made of. So it does have a lot of nice pickup speed and power right off the hop. It is equipped with the two liter turbo engine and the eight speed transmission. So it is giving us 237 horsepower and 258 foot pounds of torque. The vehicle did just shut off now in the auto stop. Um, since we are at the red light, it's gonna save some fuel for us.
can see what the CT4 is really made of once we get to the highway here. I'm in my own 